Star Wars 7x7 episode 2355. All right, let's talk about it finally. The Believer is chapter 15 of The Mandalorian, a.k.a. season 2, episode 7, and this is your Mandalorian briefing. Punch it. <laughs> Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy and thank you so much for joining me for it. So, we are at the penultimate episode of Season 2 of The Mandalorian. We've got one more to go. This time, this is basically a setup episode for all intents and purposes. This is a full spoiler briefing, by the way, just in case you need the advance notice. This episode, I will say, more than any other in this season has felt like a bit of a filler episode, right? Because we've had Grogu taken and now we know that there's a confrontation that has to happen between Moff Gideon and the Mandalorian, but there's some setup work that needs to be done in advance of that. And this is what we've got with the Believer. And that being said, you know, the whole filler episode bit, right? Let's not ignore the fact that they pack a lot of action into this episode and a bit of character development as well. And in particular, they do something with the Mandalorian that has been predicted by just about everyone <laughs> as something that needed to happen sometime during this season, which is the Mandalorian taking off his helmet, right? It was going to happen sometime in season one and it did. It was going to happen sometime in season two and it did again. The reasons for it happening this time, though, are certainly more important from a thematic character development standpoint than they were in the reasoning for chapter eight in season one, which is because otherwise he was going to die if he couldn't be helped. Although from a functional perspective, it's not clear what the purpose of the face scanning is by this Imperial terminal, right? Is it just to verify that the person who's accessing the terminal is a human being as opposed to some other species out in the galaxy? That's the only thing that makes sense because if it's scanning for identity, then Din Djarin wouldn't come up on any Imperial registers as anyone and so it should lock him out of the system at best. At worst, there's some record of him through Mandalore that Moff Gideon had access to that would be in the Imperial record somehow that would identify him as a person of interest for any Imperial who might happen to wander around his vicinity. So ultimately, I think this goes to kind of grease the wheel on a point that Mayfeld makes earlier in the episode when he talks about people having, you know, the codes that they live by and everybody's got their line that they won't cross until things get messy. That is the earlier foreshadowing of the fact that the Mandalorian is going to have to take his helmet off because things are getting too messy for there to be any other solution and he has a job that he wants to do and doing the job means crossing the line. And this ultimately is really the point of the episode. It's to bring the Mandalorian finally over the line that basically this whole season has been leading up to from his character growth perspective. Back in chapter 13, you'll recall the heiress, right? Bo-Katan identifies the Mandalorian as part of the Children of the Watch, which she describes as a group of zealots who believe in a very restrictive version of what it means to be a Mandalorian. And the course of this season has led us to the point where the Mandalorian makes a decision as to what really needs to be minded as far as Mandalorian code goes, right? Whether something as restrictive as the code that he was raised within is worth keeping in its entirety in the circumstances in which he finds himself or whether he finds that there can be flexibility in order to achieve the larger goals and ideals to which he has committed himself. And also speaking of the heiress, there's one other thing I want to flag about the titling of the episode. Before I do that though, just the quick reminder once again about the Marine Corps Toys for Tots Foundation. That's toysfortots.org to create a little bit of magic 
in the life of a child in need this holiday season. If you are able to do that and create that kind of magic, you can help Toys for Tots do that in one of more than 800 communities across the United States, DC, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands. It's a wonderful organization. They've been at it for years and years and years, and you can help not only the national organization, but you can also find local organizations working to serve communities where you live. Again, toysfortots.org, check them out, and thank you so much for considering supporting them. So the thing about titling, the believer is the name of the episode, and I think the knee-jerk reaction is to consider that Valen Hess, who is the commanding officer of Mayfeld when they were working on Operation Cinder, is the believer to whom the episode title refers. And that would certainly make sense because up to this point, five of the seven titles for the season have referred to somebody else, right? The Marshal was about Cobb Vanth. The Passenger was about quote-unquote Frog Lady. The Heiress was about Bo-Katan. And the Jedi was about Ahsoka Tano. Now we have the Believer, and yes, it could be Valen Hess, but I have to say I feel like that title actually is more about the Mandalorian than anyone else in the episode because the episode is about defining what it is the Mandalorian truly believes in. What matters more to him in his belief system? Is it this idea of he has to keep his helmet on because that's what the code says? Or is it his dedication to deliver this child, this you know, even though he is a force powerful, ultimately helpless creature, to the people to whom he needs to be delivered, the Jedi? And he makes a choice that redefines his belief system. So that's why I think it's really about him, even though you could certainly make the case that it's about Valen Hess as well. That's where we're going to leave things for this episode of the show, The Mandalorian Briefing for The Believer, which is Chapter 15, a.k.a. Season 2, Episode 7. And that's it for this episode of the show. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it, as always. And may the Force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7 by 7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2020 by Star Wars 7 by 7 We hope you love it.